<laughs> please, please don't do that. <laughs> hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Yuki, I told you to follow your dreams. But your dreams are scary. Welcome back to another movie reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're, we're the, the movie, movie buds. buds. High School Musical 3. Yeah. Actually getting, <laughs> actually getting to the third movie in a franchise relatively quickly. Yeah, I know, right? It's a record for us. Don't judge us on the other ones. No, don't do that. Hey, we <laughs> did the whole Twilight series back to back. So the only thing we know about this one is that quality increase. Mm -hmm. We're about to see how that goes. And it got released in cinemas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was pretty much it. I'm looking forward to seeing these changes. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah. I also wanted to say a big thank you to all of our newest members and subscribers. We appreciate your support for the channel you guys are great thank you oh wow okay <laughs> oh wow okay just flexing that budget right off the bat no they spent the whole budget on the <laughs> intro <laughs> <laughs> oh no everybody's gonna have terrible wigs now okay nice they got good cameras it's so cinematic <sighs> let's go Okay. God damn. Wow. Get your head in that fucking game, buddy. <laughs> oh, bad pass. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I know things. That ball was not meant to go there, right? <laughs> True. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. You know that he's 5'8 and can't jump, right? He's apparently the best player in their school. So no, I don't think he does. He needs to. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I don't know how I feel about the haircut oh. for dad, right? Oh, I know exactly how I feel about I, it. I don't feel good. <laughs> nah, <laughs> this is giving me bad feelings. No more X's and O's. Forget about the scoreboard. Cause here's a number that matters. 16. There's 16 minutes left. Oh yeah. Right. I was like, what? We've only got 16 minutes left. Don't wear a cat uniform. That's a, oh my God. Is that a fucking tattoo? 16 minutes. For real though, bro. 16 minutes is a lot of time. I mean, that is a nice little message, though. It's a very nice little message. You heard coach. We're all going to remember the next 16 minutes for a long time after we leave. Uh, depends. <laughs> so it's now or never, Chad. Someone breaks a leg, they will. Yeah. What team? Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing this again. Yeah. Of course they are. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It seems more impactful now. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're going right into it. Oh, we're doing a song. No, I want to see the game. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fucking inoffensive signs. Let's get them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, getting a musical basketball play. Yeah, they've put more time and effort into this. I like yeah. it. Yeah. This feels like the natural evolution. Mm hmm. Oh, no, that shouldn't it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't care about these side people. Show the game. <laughs> but his musical prowess oh, is just too sick. Makes all the difference. Oh, no, the ACL. That's a foul. That's a flagrant foul. You okay? Come on, Troy. Ah, it's cool. They're high school kids. They can take it. Yeah. No. No, no don't do that. Holy crap. <laughs> That's fairly accurate, though. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> I can hardly breathe. Oh, wow. It's time to turn it up. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Not a contact sport, my ass. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's definitely a contact sport. <laughs> and I like that they portrayed that accurately. It yeah. was a charge. Come triple team. What do you want to do, Captain? Put in Rocket Man. Troy, you're two points away. I know. Just get me the ball. Um. Rocket Man. Come on, Rocket Man. Wait, you've actually got a kind of big guy? Oh, he's not actually that big. He's just skinny. Oh. My bad. Keep your eyes on me. Yeah. I was like, he's lanky. He must be. No, he's not tall. My no. bad. This is the last time to get right. Work together. And look, I appreciate that he's demanding the last shot. He is the captain. This is his team. But like, call a play. Yeah. Please. No. Oh, but it worked. It shouldn't have. Like, what the hell? You threw it to this? Are you serious? Okay, as a basketball fan, I do not appreciate that. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> that though. <laughs> Fucking Ryan. Ryan. That's Ryan. so great. 
You know, everything about all of those basketball scenes was actually really good up until that very last play. Yeah, that was a cinematic decision, not uh, a sports look, decision. I know what they were trying to do. I just don't like it. Yeah, fair. Rocky, you better be pushing. Oh my god. Push harder. Oh, Dad, oh, oh, is this them trying to show that Troy's actually poor? I, I think. Home sweet home. What? Because he's got a beat up old car he fixed with his dad. I'm saving for a new fuel pump. Mm hmm. Save faster. Wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, because poor people have parties that are set up like this. I know, right? That makes sense. This is how I party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, watch that tail, man. It's dangerous. <laughs> Dad just fucking trespassing on someone else's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, I, I don't know. Congratulations, I'm assuming Ryan and Sharpay's parents paid for everything. Yeah. Celebrating or something? That's the only logical explanation. He's still in yeah. good terms with them after the second one. Pretty much. Got a couple empty lockers up there at U of A. Hopefully not for long. Damn for the suit up for you next season. I'll tell you that last assist when you gave up the final shot. That's the kind of players I'm looking for, huh? I mean, he had a clear look at the bucket, though. That's when you know that... The game is in your head. Your room is way cool. You were in my room? Yeah. What? I just took a picture. Wait, what? Dude, that doesn't make it better. Dude, we should hang out tonight, man. No. Why? Sure, I just gotta grab the trophy I left in my truck. Dude, don't sweat it, I'm on it. Oh, okay. No. Oh, no, <laughs> okay. He's like, ah, uh, you can't make it any shittier than it already is. <laughs> what the fuck is that treehouse? Are you serious? This guy, this fucking guy. You know what? Top secret hiding place. We'll say, you know, it doesn't require money, it just requires a very dedicated dad. You're the second girl I've ever had up here. Timber is expensive, man. Yeah, it can be. No <laughs> one said he bought all that timber. Good point. Fair, yeah. fair, okay. Yeah. The first was my mom. Well, I'm honored. I mean, my dad built it. Yeah, I know he did. Yeah, just so we remember he's down to earth. Yep. So is that the coach from U of A down there? Yeah, he's at my house. It's always been my dad's dream. Now I'm going to end up in his alma mater. Just living your dad's life. Yeah. My mom and I have been talking about Stanford pretty much since I was born. She won't stop talking about it. Come on, she's proud of you. Ah, uh, yeah. She's stoked. Thing about Stanford's a thousand. 53 miles from here. Let's just hope that Gabrielle is actually happy about the decision to go to Stanford. Hope so. Yeah, because you can do long distance going to different colleges. It's just real hard. Yeah. Seems like the rest of the school year is coming at us so fast. I wish it would all just stop. At least just slow down. Yeah, goddamn. Zach Efron's jawline came in so hard compared to the I, last couple. I can't tell the difference. I don't know. He just looks like a man with a bob cut now. The difference to me is literally just the hair looks more natural, but still just as swoopy. Yeah, for sure. That too. Can you imagine if we could have any dream? I'd wish this moment that it would never leave. Made our wish come true. Where I should be too. Well, it's nice to see Gabriella singing something other than a sad breakup song. Right. The happy together song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next logical step. Right. <laughs> Okay, I can't tell if it was just the production, but I feel like Zach's improved once again from the last movie to this movie in his singing ability. Yeah, hey man. Time and practice. Yeah. And the right coach. That too. Yeah. And money. Bigger budget. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger budget, better coach. <laughs> well, I mean, shit, maybe he's had the same coach, it's just time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Whoa, what? You're here? What are the odds? Make it Wait, what fucking what? Shit? Why is it just opening of its own accord? Chad and the other team members just back there <laughs> fucking like, come on, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Let's set him up with some real romantic shit. <laughs> Tomorrow can wait, but right now there's you. Wait. Yeah, his tone seems freer, more mm. relaxed, more open. Yeah, I was going to say open, less strain. Yeah, and like no amount of production can do that. That's just work. Yeah, yeah. Is this a pirate's wheel? No. Yes, obviously it's a pirate ship house. Very cute. I haven't played with Robo Rob since third grade. And by that he means three days ago. Yeah. That's Chad's. Sure it is. Troy, you have guests. He knows he's ignoring them on purpose. Yeah, and that's why I'm here, <laughs> mom. <laughs> we'll be right down, mom. <laughs> God, he just jumps off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Gotham needs me. I can fly. Ow. <laughs> Hold on. Pause one sec. We just got to call Steph. Hello. Bud, what's up? Hey, man, what's going on? We got some good news. Oh, yeah. I like good news. We got a sponsor. Get out. Yeah, man. Atlas VPN. Oh, sick. I know. We've been uh, trying to get ourselves on a good VPN, and it's about that time. Yeah, it definitely is. So check this out. They have a three-year subscription. 
Guess how much? 12 bucks a month. $1.39 per month, man. Nah, you're lying. Hey, it's discount on special right now. Okay, cool. The streaming speeds are great. Basically, there is an optimization setting in there for streaming, so you can pick out specific servers that work better with like Netflix. Right. You know what that means, right? Our options are wide open, dude. Wait, wide open for what? For more commentaries. Because we make videos. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah, I'm glad that you're on top of it. Yeah, totally. Totally. This would have come in really handy when we were doing a Cinderella story. Yeah. Actually, a few videos, really. Quite a few, now that I'm thinking about it. Anytime we were filming separately and we uh, were relegated entirely to Disney+. Plus. That would have been nice, but you know what? Now we got Atlas VPN for the future. Atlas VPN will protect us. All right, I'll catch you later, man. All right, see you later, dude. See ya. Wait. So that's right, Atlas VPN right now for the three-year subscription, $1.39 per month. Link's in the description. Big thanks to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. Oh, yes. Yep. I love how they brought back the fabulous song yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just so you remember. <laughs> God damn. Jesus Christ, look at those boots. I know, right? <laughs> she just has like a personal is fucking bodyguard. He just clocks out anyone who gets in her way. Hold, hold, hold up. So is that a matching leather skirt? Of course it is. She has just become even more so that bitch. I know. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets a little bit better every time. So, when's the big game? Every time you think that she's stopped growing, she reaches new heights of that bitchness. <laughs> uh, yesterday. Oh, well, good luck. Wow. She's so sweet. Hey, Zeke, have you noticed that your girlfriend's crushing on a different guy? Yeah. Maybe she's over it, but you know. Wait, does she have like two lockers now? Yeah, I love how oh, she went from wow. one locker with a star to a locker that was full pink to a double deluxe locker that oh, was all man. pink with w fucking padding. Cushion lining, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I love how much of the budget has gone towards making Sharpe extra. Mm -hmm. What are you? <laughs> what are you? Good morning, Miss Evans. I'm Tiara Gold. Notice on the board that you're in need of a personal assistant. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is her assistant. Yeah. I need someone tracking my appointments and assignments. I feel like soon to be rival. <laughs> importantly, I need someone to run lines with me. That's a theater term for learning your role. It's best to keep your science and math books together, since those are your first lessons of the day. How do you know my schedule? She wants to be your personal assistant and your best friend. She's determined to get the job. To make certain, I'd have your non-fat soy latte ready for free period. And be you. Yeah. <laughs> She's not going to kill you, though. She's just going to tie you up. When off. I say the job, <laughs> I mean the job of being Sharpe. <laughs> yeah. If you own any orange, get rid of it. That's fair. Oh, Jesus. My brother. Dude, why are we making this guy a character? Can I have your gym locker? What? Starting next week? Probably running the team next season. Uh, Wait, what? He's in the year below him. Yeah, no, I get that much. But why do you think you're going to be leading the team? I don't know. Because he took the winning shot, I guess. That's uh, apparently enough for him. Later, bro. Not enough for anybody else. All right, everyone, settle down. Fucking yeah. Queen Darbus. Yeah. Did she have that chair last time? I think she might have. We just didn't notice it. Yeah, because she was standing up. Mm, yeah. Taylor McKessie has some important announcements. Uh, Chad's beard. Senior trip committee meets tomorrow. Dude. <laughs> Took me a second. Yeah. This year's theme is the last waltz. But don't be the last- Holy sh- What the fuck? Graduation committee convenes Monday following yearbook planning. Questions? What's the lunch special in the cafeteria today? <laughs> New York Deli. Oh. Anyone else? Oh. Fucking sharp. Miss Sharpay Evans for term president. I like that they brought Taylor back to being mm. also that bitch, but in a more academic way. Yeah. I was thinking I'd select something very modest to perform. Perhaps even a one woman show. Oh, yeah, that's super mm -hmm. modest. <laughs> Fucking Kelsey. Oh, shit. A little light on the sign ups, Kelsey? No, we're actually doing pretty well. Oh, almost the entire home room. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Instant sabotage. I will happily see all of you to make a very special announcement. Okay, I like the upgrade on Kelsey's outfit. Yeah. It looks more natural. Yeah, yeah. Actually, everyone's... Everyone looks more natural, but I think it's just more obvious with Kelsey because they tried too hard with her last time. Yeah, just a touch. The hair's nice too. Mm. I'll be retaking my finals. I'm moving What's into the on? library. Jason, shut up. No one yeah. cares what you think. No one gives a fuck. Go shave. Nail for my family science. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Sorry, geez, 
I just thought everyone would want to do it. Kelsey's right. This is our last chance to do something together. All of us. Chad's just like, I don't even like you people. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say, Wildcats? No! no. I still <laughs> yeah. Just simultaneous <laughs> no from everyone. We are not all in this together, okay? <laughs> Wait, I'm in. I was like, you holding your hand up to ask a question from your teacher, Gabriella? Fucking dweeb. <laughs> It'll be fun. How much time will it take? What the heck is the show about? Miss Gabriella? Yeah. <laughs> you, Mr. Danforth. Me? What's happening? The spring musical is all about you. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's her worst nightmare. It's about your final days at East High. We'll call it senior Wait, year. Are you saying that the musical is basically just, hey, you guys take care of it. I'm going to back out. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, Miss Darby. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's such a power move. <laughs> yeah. Kelsey will compose. Ryan will choreograph. Yes, Ryan. Very important so news. Juilliard School, America's preeminent college for the performing arts. Mm. Depends on what style. Juilliard is considering four of you for one scholarship. Sharpay Evans. Think about it for us, like Australian Institute of Music versus the Conservatorium of Music. Yeah. Conservatorium is more classical. Jazz. Classical jazz. Very specific, mm -hmm. but like the professionals. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. As far as I know, that's kind of how we're looking at Juilliard versus, say, Berkeley. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Berkeley does still focus on serious music. They just, I believe they're more open. Okay. Fair. Yeah. 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 Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Ryan Evans, Kelsey Nielsen, Troy Kelsey. Bolton. <laughs> Shut up, Zeke. We've done this twice now. Troy sings. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Who's the big comedian? Is there something wrong? I didn't apply. I've never heard of Juilliard. Oh. Yeah. Evidently, Juilliard has heard of you. That doesn't answer anything, though. As you create this show, think about your aspirations for the future. He's like, yeah, I'm going to college for basketball. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. Yeah. Well, again, though, I, I don't know if that's realistic. Yeah. Let's begin with Mr. Danforth, your future. Hoops all the way. <laughs> I'm going to be the president of the United States of America. Okay, nice. big dream. Martha Cox, you're late. Maybe we can use a few more dancers. No. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, we... uh, I mean, that is actually, like, sorely wanted in a lot of musical productions. I'm sure it is. I just don't want more characters. <laughs> yeah, no, don't. They're not real people. We've it's got okay. a good cast, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bolton, your future. You know, uh... Gas station. <laughs> I think we should stage the perfect prom. What do I want? I want money! I wouldn't know where to begin, but I know where it ends. There's nobody in the audience for you to talk to. Center stage. A single spotlight. At least she knows what she wants. Yeah, oh yeah, she's very clear. Gabriella's dream is supposed to be humble, it just comes off as weak. New York Deli Platter, please. How can you think about food at a time like this? It's lunchtime? Is this lunchtime? Yeah. Exactly. Better throw that big apple parfait in there. This show is our last shot, Ryan. <laughs> wow. Chape's meal, please. Ryan is done with her shit after the second movie. Mm hmm. Mm. Ugh. Imagine having everything. N no, don't he's don't take his food. He's eating. First audition, I get the lead. Apart from me. I like that Ryan is standing up to her more. Yeah. They, they made that consistent well, from the we've last got one. Development in their relationship. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it then. Listening. Personal stylist. Where do I fit into this? With you, we can win. We can win. Mm. Become superstars. That's better. He's like, I love you, sis, but Jesus Christ, I'm sick of your shit. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she's including him. Yeah. So she learned her lesson as well. Yeah. Oh, they got that spinning table money. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we all know how much spinning tables cost. Yeah. You're gonna love me. <clears throat> Wanted to get one, but just, just couldn't, couldn't afford, afford it. it. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Don't stop me. I'm not the paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this oh. is definitely taking place in her head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do it then. Yeah. He's the, please, I made a mistake. Mm. <laughs> I should have chosen you all along. And the Oscar goes to. That's better. Oh. He's not an accessory, though. He's a person. Yeah. Why is Taylor your flight attendant? Uh, all the members are the... I know, but you know, your friends just serve you? I mean... How... They're not really friends. Yeah, yeah. Also, how else would she see it? That's true. Yeah, point taken. I want it all, I want it. This is consistent. Here in the spotlight, you shine. 
so, so far the songs that we've had, not as good as the second movie. I feel like they're kind of bringing it back to less so of a pop song and more of a musical song kind of angle. Yeah. It's balanced, which is nice. It's way, still way better than the first movie songs, but I prefer the ones from the second one so far as well. I don't know. I think so far I might prefer the songs from the first movie as well. They love you! It's not about production value, you know, and just structure. It's also about heart. Yeah, that's fair. Like, God damn the, that production value. <laughs> yeah, but to me, it's just like we're adding extra gloss onto something that maybe wasn't that great. Yeah. Holy shit. See, was this necessary? Just because you have the money doesn't mean you need to spend it all. I want, I want it. Clearly, some people disagree with you. <laughs> Let's be real. They just wanted another excuse to put Ryan in another coattail suit. Sure. <laughs> I like the more seamless blend between musical world and yeah, real like, world. movie world. It's ours, Ryan. Miss D said that there's only one scholarship. There's two of us. Quick mess. Like it's better done, but I just feel like there was a bit more heart. Yeah. In the first and second. We're twins. They're going to have to take us both. <laughs> what? That's not how that works. Kelsey always writes her best songs for Troy and Gabriella. Make certain we get those songs. But Ryan is just dumb enough to fall for it. How? Take her to prom. I don't know. <laughs> Either that or he's just going along with it because fuck, man. Yeah. How much energy does one guy have? <laughs> I'm just too tired to say no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tay. Good morning, sunshine. Huh? So you're going to rehearsals tonight? I don't understand considering you may not even be here for the show. Have you told anyone you're up for Stanford's freshman honors program? Everybody else is fine without an umbrella. Yeah, it's something that people do. You know, uh, protect themselves from the sun. You're going to be hearing from them any day. These things take time. I need you right away. Y you need vitamin D. Not really a protection. Mm, depends how hot it is. <laughs> I have to go. There's a dude in a hoodie behind them. I don't care, man. I'm here for them making Taylor that bitch. I'm just glad she has more character than from the last one. I really need your help. Which one do you think I should wear? Okay, <laughs> we're here again. Troy's supposedly secret spot. Because mm. you're going to have a pretty dress, so I want to look right. It's like, you get to have a pretty dress? Why can't I have a pretty dress? Yeah, damn it. I deserve to feel pretty. This one. Any excuse to show off your V-necks, huh, buddy? I've never been to a dance, much less a prom. Sure, that's a thing that you have to show off. But I was hoping these might be a good start. Yeah, it's our last waltz. We'll never have another one. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we're gonna have to waltz? Because I have no idea how to do that. It's dark. <laughs> All I know is that my dad taught me when I was a little girl. Come here, I'll show you. Oh, well, you know, they're about to break up, right? Yeah, <laughs> at least one more time <laughs> before the series is over. What? Come here. On the roof. <laughs> yes, we are on the roof, Troy. Very fucking astute. Checking out the whole rest of the roof this time. Mm -hmm. Cool. Take my hand and take one step and let the music be your... Also, just a quick note for everyone who is saying you don't believe their chemistry, but they were together in real life. That means nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't necessarily have an influence on how they portray their characters on screen. <laughs> Even off screen. Do you know how many couples I've met who have zero chemistry? Yeah, I know, right? And it's like, there's a reason they're not couples anymore. You know I believe. Don't get me wrong. Again, it's not terrible. It's just, mm. I don't really buy it. Yeah. I catch I think that's partly though, because they both have a bit of a music theater performance. Exactly, yeah. Where it's just like anything they do is not super believable in both cases. Well, yeah. One in a million, the is a but that's not a bad thing, because it's no. supposed to be a decom. It's a stylistic choice, yeah. so it's fine. Okay, Taylor was on it. <laughs> Taylor checked the weather report, did her research, brought that umbrella. Everybody laughed. Who's laughing now? Still me, bitch. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, you can laugh with soggy socks. <laughs> I mean, is it really raining though? Or is it just someone it nearby with a fucking hose? <laughs> yeah. Is that a yes? It's the basketball team again. Yeah. Like, God fucking damn it, Troy. They're just standing around them in a circle with hoses, just like yeah. with the thumb over yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta spray. stop asking us to do this stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you just ruined that jacket. Yeah, I hope you guys don't have your phones on you. Where's our clothes? Yo, Rocket Man, thought you guys wanted our locker. Yeah. It's moving, Nick. Oh, guys. Sweet. <laughs> Good job. Okay, for a second, I was a bit concerned. Yeah, for a second there, I thought, like, you guys are gonna. We weren't just giving these lockers. Bully these guys? Yeah. Is that what's happening? We had to earn them. 
Right. Thanks, man. Hey, chat. What's the combo? Oh, it's like you said. You gotta earn them. Wait. So you are uh, just bullying them? No, they them. are. They are just bullying them. Yeah. See, this is something that's like relatively consistent with sports, where you have to like haze the younger players and shit. Usually the rookies, but same thing in this case. Yeah. I'm uh, not really cool with it. I've never been down for this. <laughs> This is, uh... uh... Let me guess, somebody's towel is gonna come off. Oh, I'm sure, probably. Oh, is it funny, guys? Yeah, hey, guys. Look at this, wait. If I was in this situation, one of those towel guys, yeah. this wouldn't be like a fun, like, oh, give me back my clothes, guys. No, this is, uh, I'm gonna tackle you and yeah. beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Look, okay, you're really stressing me out right now. Do you really want a wet, naked dude to beat the crap out of you in front, in front of, of, of your school? Yeah. Man, that's, you really want that to be your last memory of high school? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, shit, don't get me wrong. If you want a wet, naked, skinny dude beating the crap, <laughs> crap out of you, then go for it. Just give me my clothes! Guys, seriously. <laughs> Your book opportunity. Hold up. Hey. Whoa, no. This is basically harassment, guys. What do you mean, basically? This is entirely harassment, yeah. <laughs> hey, teacher, you wanna, um. Why, why are you looking at them? Bold choice, gentlemen. Oh, because she's a fucking creep and she thinks that staring at virtually naked teenage boys is okay. Mm. Remember from the oh, first yeah. movie? It's consistent character. <laughs> What the fuck? If my truck falls apart because I'm spending all my free time on stage, it's all your fault. Dude, if your truck falls apart for any reason, it's because you didn't hassle your dad for the money he actually has. <laughs> yeah, for like a good card. Like, Jesus, look at that place. But you know what? I'm gonna say that we're gonna buy into the idea that his dad's just trying to teach him a lesson in humility. Yeah, I like to think that. You love it. Why is that so hard for you to admit? To my dad? To Chad? Yeah, it's a little hard. Oh, side note, saw the comments about how much American college actually costs and how even if oh, you yeah, are yeah, pretty yeah, wealthy, you still that. wouldn't be able to afford it. So yeah, fair That's enough. Fair. U of A was sort of chosen for me. I haven't talked to anybody about this, but I've had offers from other colleges. For what? I'm really listening. To play basketball? I think that's what they're going with. I still have decisions to make too. I was just making some snacks inside. Are you guys hungry? I interrupted something, didn't I? Homework. Oh yeah, that's what this is. Sure. I'm glad that she takes the hint though. Mm. Thinking about homework. I was joking. Yeah. He's not doing homework. Like, Although to be hell? fair, if he wants to get that scholarship, he's gonna need to do his fucking homework. That's true. <laughs> but they were in the middle of something. Compliments of Zeke. But he doesn't know they're gone yet, so you have to eat all the evidence. Why are you guys the worst? Kiss enough to the yearbook editors. Chad's hoping for two pages on him, so. <laughs> hey, what's right is right. Chad's five o'clock shadow game is strong. Yeah. Started using a derma roller on his face. <laughs> Could you take me after school to check out that tuxedo? Tuxedo? For what? For prom. If that's what you call an invitation, you'll be dancing with yourself. Okay, what? apparently Chad fucked up. Yeah, whatever. Yo, 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 it's lunchtime! <laughs> okay, so they're those guys. I appreciate that they don't seem to have been destroyed by their previous uh, harassment. Yeah, just bury it. Just push it down with Ooh. everything else. Yeah. It's now or never, man. The Garden Club is rooting for you. Go in there. Go get her. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah you yeah, gotta okay. do it right. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, no, we're doing this now. Do it, you coward. I was kind of wondering if you'd maybe go with me. Oh, hey, Chad. They have tuna surprise on the menu. Um, you can be like that. Ignoring him like this isn't going to fix things. No, but he's going to prove himself to her. Hey, I'm, I'm asking you to prom. I can't hear you because it's so loud in here. But also, though, like, come on, bro. For real, either you're going to break up with him or you're going to work this out. Yeah. <laughs> Acting like this isn't going to help. Uh, excuse me, everybody. Yo! Whoa. Oh, okay. My friend has something to say. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Troy's being a solid bro. I Sometimes guess. you got to throw your mate in the deep end. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah, go hard. All right. Taylor McKessie. Be my date to the senior prom. Wait, so she's mad that he didn't ask big enough the first time? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, yeah. This is not how you get what you want. Oh, I know. I'd be honored. Cool. I'm sure you would. Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but at the same time, if you want something, go for it hard. Guess now it's official. Can't back out. Can't back out. Don't half ass it. If you want your boyfriend to make a huge spectacle. Not a huge spectacle. The degree to which she wanted it was not cool, but the degree to which he was half assing it wasn't cool either. Sure. Ready, ready uh, for the night, the nights. Now do we have to dress up for the prom? Oh yeah, we're really going hard on the musical vibes. Mm. It's the night of all night, dressing to impress the boys. Classical vintage or flat. Oh, God. God damn. Ruffles. Wow. Yes. Do it. No one better wear the same dress as me. Yo, uh, Kelsey had that dress first, though. Yeah, actually.
Oh, look at the sports socks on underneath. My God. Also, the like suit jacket thing and the shorts. No. Never been cool. No. Nope. Wait, so Sharpe has a love heart and Ryan just has a fucking rectangle? What the hell? Where's my shaver? Ooh, I love it. I look like a fatty should be there. Wow, yeah. They were just like, hey, but what if it was just a stage performance as a movie? Which, you know, I appreciate. It's a take. Don't know why the father's staring me down. I don't appreciate. I appreciate the effort that went into well, it. I feel like the effort and the production and the is amazing. Spectacle, you know? But so far, how much story have we actually got? Yeah. No, I feel like it worked better in the second one. Yeah, the, the, the second one, I guess, it felt like it knew that it was corny and ridiculous. Mm. I don't know if it knows that this time. <laughs> yeah, because it's like... Mm. Oh, yeah. Ryan and Kelsey went together. Some gay lesbian solidarity. I like it. I like it. Who's that girl? You know that's not what they're doing. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> I know. Let me dream, damn it. On a night of nights. Right. You know what? I like Chad's outfit. Oh, wow. I just realized how fucking like disco fever that is. Oh, they Ooh, put his name and number on the, on the back. back. I, I disagree oh. with that choice. You retract that statement. <laughs> yeah. I just liked the black trim on the white suit. Yeah. As always, Ryan looks fucking fantastic. Mm. And naturally, they had to give Troy the most boring outfit. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just pretty uh, basic they compared just to everyone else. They wanted to make him the cool guy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Which I guess is his role in this series. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely went way harder on the budget for just the performances. Yeah, you can really tell they're like, hey, we've got the money. We're yeah. going to spend it. Yeah. Gabriella's outfit kind of makes me think of flapper style. Yeah. Which are the little band. That it's like nice. 1930s kind of thing, right? Yeah, I love that look. Bravo. Oh, okay. Oh, it actually that, is. Oh. This is for the musical. Okay, that's clever. That makes more sense. I like that. Ryan, your choreography is quite inventive. Jason, we do not chew gum in the theater or at prom. That's true. Why are you chewing gum while you're singing a big musical number? So why are you wearing blue jeans with a black blazer, you fucking plebeian? <laughs> I heard Kelsey's writing something amazing for Troy and Gabriella. A song, most likely. When has she not done that? Yeah. Just find out what it is. Hi, boy. How was I? He's got a little tux. Hey, Troy. Holy shit. Look, there's Sharpe. She has a secret crush on you. No, dude. Secret crush on me? Okay, so the whole storyline here is just Troy bullies the new guy. Yeah, like I get that he's a lot. Mr. Zoe. And whatnot, but that's not cool. Yeah, pull him aside and like maybe give him a few tips. Yeah. Don't just fucking put him in embarrassing situations. I'm making you an understudy. Miss Gold! Don't even have to like give him tips, just be real with him. Yeah. You as well. Nice. But dude, this is not cool. Well, that's, that's just what give him a hot heart. <laughs> that's what tips are. Oh yeah, sure. I'm playing the understudy. <laughs> that's right. It means you go on if one of the leads can't make the performance. Hate to break it to you, sister, but. You're one too. The difference being, I can actually carry a tune. Um. I wouldn't sing with you if my hair was on fire and you were the last water on earth. Okay, 100. This guy here is just a standard immature teenager in this instance, but yeah. she's not making it better. Wanna go to lunch sometime? Wait, what? Oh God. Start your engine. Wait, we're going with that, are we? Doing the enemies to lovers thing. Well, Displaying that by just being like, these two characters are gonna disrespect each other a whole lot and yeah. be immature, but then they're gonna get together. There's a way to do enemies to lovers. This isn't it. This is why I hate the enemies to lovers trope is that they never do it yeah, good. No one ever does it well, yeah. It always just like looks toxic. I know. Stanford University's freshman honors program court. <laughs> oh my God. Your mom must be so proud. <sighs> Taylor, you're the only one that knows. Oh, but you've already accepted, right? Mm, reconnaissance. Gabriella, yes. these are Sharpay's yearbook photos. Of course they are. <laughs> Cool. I actually don't care about whatever nefarious scheme she's got going on. <laughs> this better be good. It's not. They select only 30 freshmen from the entire incoming class. But the program starts in two weeks. She'd miss our sh your show. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you were right, unsurprisingly. Mm -hmm. Show must go on. Mustn't it? Oh my god. She's doing the exact same thing she did in the first one. Potentially, but just realized this new character is basically just Kim K to her Paris Hilton. You're right. I know. Whoa. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
okay, we're gonna we're oh, gonna do this now. Okay, sure. I mean, I love these two characters, but why can't they just be like friends? Mm-hmm. We gotta sell them on the fact that they're both be- straight. Yeah, because too many people were I like, know. "Oh my god, Troy and Ryan." What? Oh, in the second one, Troy. Chad. Chad. Oh my god. Chad and oh Ryan. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sure some people were like Troy and oh, Ryan. I'm sure. <laughs> Forget those people though. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of things. All these distractions. Also, considering the nature of their relationship, especially in the first movie, mm. feel a little uncomfortable with that. Uh, I don't know. Ryan was kind of going along with Sharpe's bullshit, but he's pulled away from that. Yeah, just since then, yeah. I suppose. It's beautiful. Thanks. The, this, the, the prom number, everything. This, it's going to be a great show. It's just continuing to sight read as he talks. At least with Ryan, I believe that. Mm. He's an accomplished enough musician to just sit down with sheet music and be like, oh yeah, I can do this. Oh yeah, yeah. I still have to write lyrics. Great, I'll pick you up at eight. He really is the backbone that carries Sharpay's whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Even if we're miles apart. Mm, nice. Okay, no. Why'd we have to go into like well, another fantasy musical number? No, no, no. They're all practicing. Oh, we switch scenes. Yeah, we switch scenes. I see. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Just wanna be with only you. No. Isn't that paint wet? He was just brushing it. He's pretending. Okay. He's playing the role of painter <laughs> in the musical. <laughs> Choice 2000s print t shirts. <laughs> yeah. You know how life can be. It's just so right. You know, I'll always be. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck are you doing, Troy? Oh, my Troy? God. Maybe don't just climb over Miss Darbus. She's just like, that. okay, instant detention. You're out of the musical. <laughs> fuck off out of here. I wanna do. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, what the fuck is this? Wait, how would. What? <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. so he is touching wet paint and fucking up the other's displays by getting it all over them. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so no, he was actually painting and now they're just spreading paint everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. How How is there no paint on her dress now? That's not aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> I do kind of love how everybody ships them. Mm. Pity the actor that has to follow you. I believe that actor is you, Mr. Choreographer. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, what? Like, <gasps> how did that happen? <laughs> you know what? I like how he's setting himself up to be like, I have to be better than them. Yes. Yeah. I can't better. just phone it in. N- and not just try to undercut them. Yeah. <laughs> did you get a copy of that song from Kelsey? I'm taking her to prom. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Those are actually his friends, though. Yeah. Now get me that duet. You are not Gabriella. Is it? Don't be so sure. Wait, what? Oh, no, you're, you're definitely not her. Yeah, you're not. You looked in a mirror recently, right? Oh, when does she nod? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you see a mirror f- very frequently, you should know what you look like. <laughs> Nothing like the purr of a well-tuned engine. And that wasn't it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you getting to the end of that sentence. Yeah, he's like, that bandana changes nothing. <laughs> yeah. Dig around over there, I'm sure you'll find what you want. Lock up for me when you're done, will you? Oh, man. I really don't dig that bandana that Troy's wearing. Yeah, me either. It does not fit it's at all. So upsetting. Don't you ever feel like your whole future is being laid out in front of you? I just want my future to be my future. Like, bandanas can work, but this is not how it happens. Nope. Do you see what happens when you do a show? You're like five people. What's so bad about that, man? Okay, it's cool to be multifaceted, man. Yeah. We used to come here as kids, we'd be ten people. Superheroes, rock stars. <laughs> Jesus. We were whatever we wanted to be. I know jack shit about cars. I know that's not good. You sure? It was us, man. Well, we were like eight years old. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a much better superhero than you were. Okay. Take it back to the place we all began. Ooh, getting the heavier boy song. We could be anything we want to be. Yeah, by the noise and the boys are back again. Sit songs out for the boys. Sit songs out for the boys. Be a superhero. Okay, I like this just because it feels a little bit more real. Yeah. And not too much. I know it's a musical. That's fine. It's just... It doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't Mm. feel like crazy overproduced. Mm -hmm. Until now. (laughs) (laughs) But it fits, you know? It actually works, though. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's like, it's a bit of silliness, but it's not too much. Yeah, exactly. Also... I mean, the it's, hook. it's still goofy as fuck, but the song's a bit better. Yeah. And it's not overdone. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. That's teenage boys though. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
and it has a hook. Yeah. Yeah, this seems like the kind of thing that you more likely just listen to. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't actually, but you know. No, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be my new G up song. Sure. <laughs> gonna put it right next to Bet on It. They've just been here all night. Yeah. <laughs> just dancing around the junkyard. I'm playing pretend. Dude's watching it. I was like, oh, that's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, and. shit. Okay. okay. Now we've lost it. Now we've lost it. <laughs> yeah. We didn't need the backup dancers. Now we, now we got Mad Max yeah. showing up. Like, what's the, the fucking shitty gear they're wearing? Guys, you've been dancing for 300 years. Society has fallen. <laughs> <laughs> ah! See, this is just funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but again, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Boys are back. That's actually hilarious. I like this. I love this. This is cute as fuck. Yeah. Boys are back. Seriously, I don't need the backup dancers. Boys are back. Gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah, I gotta appreciate the moves. The moves are great. <laughs> yeah. Boys are back. Good that you know by now. Guys are just giving it everything. Boys are back. Sick. Noise. So what are you gonna do if Julia God says yes? I don't know. He just wants to keep his options open. Program starts at Stanford next week. I'll miss everything. Just the show. You can come back for prom and graduation. Girl, your future is calling loud and clear. You have to grab it while you can. What? Stop being my mom for a second and just be my friend. She's already got a mom. Yeah. Maybe I want to stay in Albuquerque as long as possible. Yeah, as someone who's moved around a lot, that makes sense. It does. Maybe I'll just stay here next year. What? Shh. Stay in Albuquerque? I'll still go to Stanford, just maybe in a year. Yeah. That would actually be really healthy to just take a year off, especially for someone yeah. like her who's been studying this hard for this long. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend taking a gap year to pretty much everybody. Yeah. Because you know what happened when my parents said, you have to go straight to university? I just ended up going to a uni and doing a course for a year that went nowhere. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that going to college straight out of high school is inherently bad, no. but it doesn't give you much opportunity to figure anything out for yourself. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're not thinking clearly because you're thinking about Troy. Oh boy. I mean, I get it that he's your first crush, but... Did she mention Troy? No. Hey, Taylor, maybe she wants to do other things with her life that aren't your things. I'm sorry. And I'm glad that she's apologizing. That's yeah. good. I meant relationship. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure she knows that there's a good chance they're going to break up. <laughs> hmm. But there will be other guys. But there's no need to rub it in. <laughs> but yeah, for real, whether you do or don't go to college or where it is, don't make that decision based on another person. No, absolutely not. It's a tough one. High school feels like it's the most important thing in the world when you're in it. But that changes. You know, it didn't really feel that way to me. Not everything has to change, Mom. I don't believe that. And this from the girl who used to think she could just reach up and rearrange the stars in the sky. Who says she can't? Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> Whether we want it to or not, te quiero con toda mi alma. I love you too, Mom. I appreciate that they throw in a little more of her background there. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Mm. Yeah. Her mom's not wrong, but it's just coming from the wrong place. I agree. You know? Yeah. It's just a bad angle. Yeah. First game is here, but the next game is away. That's in New Orleans, right? Road oh, trip! <laughs> oh, God, their dads are the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I gotta ask. Milk with dinner? Don't look at me. What the heck? I have no idea. Maybe it's eggnog? Is it close to Christmas? No. Oh, I got nothing then. It's not the first time I've seen it. I've seen American shows. Just drinking milk for dinner? Yeah. I mean, I like milk, but not like that. Yeah, it's a breakfast thing. Oh, no, it's not about or, the time of day. snacks, you know? I'll have it at night, just yeah. not with dinner. Dinner, no, yeah. Bizarre. Unless yeah. you're having something really spicy. Sure, That'd yeah. Be... You've got too much chili going on. Mm. Gotta clear it out. If this were forever... We've already proved it worked. Oh, Troy gets the sad solo song this time. But in in the universe. Oh, wait, no. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's a scene from SpongeBob that's almost exactly like this. I'll show you later. Fair enough. Right. Right now, you and me. 
Yeah, you know, the extra cinematicness makes it feel like it's supposed to be a more serious story, and that's not what I liked about High School Musical. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I do appreciate that it feels like a legitimate problem. Yeah, yeah. This is something that is actually a big concern when you're leaving high school, like, oh my god, everything's gonna change. Are all the people I care about not being in my life anymore? What's gonna happen? Oh, sure. The plot yeah. point I'm good with. Yeah. It just feels like they've lost their idea of goofiness. Mm. It's still there. Hi, Troy. They just don't Holy realize shit. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> they haven't offered my congratulations. They just don't realize it as much. Yeah. I'm glad the season's over. Zoe, I meant Gabriella. You know what? They need more Sharpay to remind themselves. Sure. Her missing the show is a little disappointing, but Stanford's freshman honors program? What the fuck are you wearing, Sharpay? I don't know. Is that plastic? I don't know what you're talking about. Everyone else does. The honors get to spend some time with Stanford's top professors. It's like top. You really didn't know? I guess her not telling you means that she's on the fence about it. The only thing possibly holding her back would be you. Mm. Hey, Troy, just pay attention to the tone of voice, the way she's talking to you. Pay attention to the fact that it's Sharpay. Does it not seem slightly <laughs> manipulative? Come on, man. You know she's sus. Just talk to Gabriella about it. Yeah. Yeah, they still haven't learned that lesson. <laughs> nope. Hello? Special delivery! Margarita pizza! Breaking in once again. What's a picnic without chocolate-covered strawberries? Well, at least this time they've known each other for a while. Yeah, this is cute. <laughs> it's cute when you're very familiar with with mm. the person and you have a good relationship. Exactly. This might very well be the best strawberry, but you wouldn't know it because you're not going to eat it. Uh... Uh, hate the feeding, feeding each, each other. other. Mm -hmm. Ugh, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of. I don't know. It's kind of gross, right? I know. Yeah. So here's the thing. Your freshman honors program at Stanford. A lot of people heard about it, but I wasn't one of them. Because I knew what you would say. This is better communication from him. Yeah. Is that what you were trying to tell me? One of the things. He's not getting pissy. He's just inquiring. I've been thinking about trying to talk my mom into staying in Albuquerque. Go to Stanford when I'm ready. You can't just put off something as amazing as Stanford. Whoa. Why not? You gotta go. It's the right thing to do. I always do the right thing. Dude, she's 18. Yeah. I think. No, everything about my life has always been full speed ahead. I wish it would all just slow down. Sounds like she knows what she wants, dude. Yeah, and it seems quite reasonable. We're gonna graduate. That's going to happen. Nothing is gonna slow down. Nah, you're just projecting, man. I guess my heart just doesn't know it's in high school. Shh. <laughs> He feels like that's an inevitability for himself. I'm a lot better at goodbyes than you. I have to take the great opportunities. So if you don't, you're wasting your life. But I like that it didn't blow up. Why are you saying goodbye? We still have prom. We still have to graduate. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. She's like, please, cut your hair. You look like such a dweeb with this mop top. <laughs> I can say that. I had that hair. I know. <laughs> I did not. Yeah. Actually, at this point, 18? No, at, at 18, I just had this hair. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I should have known better. Although it was thicker. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing I've always really appreciated about Gabriella. She knows what she fucking wants. Yeah. This time is she doesn't let other people tell her. You know, I, what she's going to do with her life. Yeah, I agree. She's always felt quite self-assured. Mm. <laughs> He's just like, fuck it, I'm walking. This piece of shit doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. If my heart breaks, it's gonna hurt so I can't take that. Okay, getting a bit flossy. I'll just walk away. You know, I think she's improved as a singer uh, as well. Yeah. Because I can hear that tone is a bit nicer, mm -hmm. a bit richer. I think they've all improved. Makes sense. You know I, still, I don't know. It's weird. I know the songs are different, but aside from the boys are back, they all kind of sound the same. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, absolutely. This is what I was saying. It's like they focused more on the production than they did on the actual core of the songs. Yeah. Right? They don't feel distinct from each other at all. Mm. I feel like they got lost in the studio looking for like the right tones and the yeah. right little instruments and extras to mm. throw in there and all that kind of stuff. And they forgot that you just write a great song and then throw stuff on top. Yeah, exactly. Montez is no longer available to us. Sharpay, you will do Gabriella's duet with Troy. Oh, well, I guess no. she got her wish. No, she went for it. She's going to the thing. Oh, you no, Sharpay. Sharpay got, got her wish. Sharpay got her wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, people. Let's do it for Gabriella. 
Okay. Wait, so everyone's bummed that Gabrielle is not going to do it? I think they're bummed that <laughs> Sharpe is taking, is over taking the role. role. Yeah. I want you to drill that second number. She's like, don't worry, buddy. I got you. I got you, man. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get through this together. Yeah. <laughs> hey. This son of a bitch has an actual court in his fucking backyard. I know we've been here before, but like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> trying to sell us <laughs> on the idea that they don't have money. Yeah, and it's a nice fucking setup. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a shitty. No, he's got old, a good rusted quality hoop. hoop or something. No, it's yeah. you. Ah, she says the food's better at East High. Oh yeah. It's adjustable too. Yeah. Which don't get me wrong, it's not amazingly special. It's just very useful when you're growing up. What are you gonna uh, tell me about this Juilliard? My man be cool. There's nothing to tell. I heard you talking to other schools. I mean, U of A isn't the only school that's talked to me, Dad. But it's the only school we talked about. Mm. Chad would be awfully disappointed if you decide to change your mind. I hear what Dad's saying, though. He's like, look, why aren't we discussing this? Yeah, as long as that's the reason. You raised me to make my own choices, and I need to make them. Not you or Chad or anybody else. But he's not saying he wants to make the decision for you. Yeah, but him bringing up like, oh, Chad will be really disappointed if you don't do this. It's like, Dude. that's a moot point. It doesn't matter what Chad thinks. I think that he needed to just approach that a little differently. He mm -hmm. was clearly just hurt that his son won't talk to him. Now Troy gets a sad song. Trust your heart. And again, I like this more because it's grounded. Yeah, exactly. Open another door. Yeah, a bunch of dancers aren't just gonna show up all of a sudden for no reason. I fucking hope. Okay. Or not. Bunch of CGI basketballs instead. Yeah, they don't look real. Nope. They could have got real basketballs. Guess they didn't want one falling on him by accident. Voices in my head. It's just continuing to rain basketballs. Yeah. Holy oh, crap. Oh shit, okay. Whoa. Oh man. Okay, this was not a good use of the budget. Inception's got nothing on this. <laughs> See, at least with Inception, there was a point though. It's to show his emotional turmoil. Feels like his life's being turned upside down. Also, though, this song slaps. <laughs> this song's better. Oh, uh, yes. Dramatic Troy song. <laughs> searching, searching, it's got Footloose vibes. Yeah, it really does. And not the song, the performance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be clear. Very much. I feel like that's what they were trying to do for Bet On It, and it didn't quite work. This makes more sense. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good God. He's still selling it with all his heart, though. Yep. And he's just on the sidelines being more <laughs> camp. More! More! You can do it! Good lightning in the background, yeah. too. God damn. No pressure, right, guys? Mm, I mean, the banners make sense to me. This is totally something that schools do for their high school stars. Oh, sure, okay. I don't know. Remember I was telling you about LeBron? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's obviously a special example, but... And this kid is not LeBron. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Yeah. Miss D, I know I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, uh, you, you didn't see that, right? I am trying to rebalance a show. Sharpay now plays the role of Miss Montez. I thought you wanted to bail out and let the students do everything. <laughs> yeah, guess not. She's like, oh crap, I made a mistake. <laughs> this is a good place to scream. <laughs> yes, it's a fantastic place to scream. Yeah. The stage can be a wonderful in the process of self-discovery. Yeah. True. Which is why I submitted an application in your name to Juilliard. Oh, it was you? Oh. I guess that makes sense. Better to consider opportunities now. Life may limit your choices. That's fair. That's a good point. If I overstepped, I apologize. No, I'm not mad. And I like that she apologized if it was too much. Yeah. Troy has that level of pressure on him where he would feel like basketball is the only option he has. Absolutely. He might not have even considered it if she hadn't have put that application in for him because no one else was going to do it. 
but yeah, that's fair. Life in the theater has taught me to trust one's instincts. That takes courage, a quality you don't seem to lack. I like that. Yeah. She's not telling him you need to do music. She's just saying, trust your gut. Yeah. Make sure it's a decision you made because you want to make it. She's just trying to be there for him. Yeah, I like this. Is this their school? No, That's this is Stanford. Uni. Around the world and spin out. You're easier to dance with than she is. Okay. What's up with the sleeves? From the top. Walk, walk, walk. Jump down. Yeah, Can somebody what... explain this to me? I don't know what those are. Oh my god. Let go of Troy now. Mm -hmm. Take five, all right? Take five. Yes. He's like, relax, guys. It's balsa wood. <laughs> I mean, it still would have hurt. Mm. You look like you're having the time of your life. Messing up the dances and messing up all the songs. If it wasn't for Gabriella, this would have just been another Sharpay show. It'll be fine. I mean, I guess. Hey, Mama. Hi. So, yes, I did get a case for a suit. I'm a grown up now, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to take credit, but Gabriella picked it out. So you could still take credit, though. Well, you did good. <laughs> hey, it's Gabriella. Hey! You're dumped. We need to talk. Oh, no! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God! I can't be a little adult right now, Troy. I'm hoping you understand that. Oh, dear. Promise in two days. You're supposed to be on a plane right now. So what, I come back, go to prom, and leave again? That was our plan. I don't think I can do it, Troy. Yeah, she wants to rip the bandaid off. Mm. I think I've run out of goodbyes. Yeah. Why do you keep saying goodbye? Dude, are you for real? Mm. I love you, Wildcat, but I need to stay right where I am. Yep. Gabriel. Yeah. That's another breakup. It's three for three. <laughs> Is her sad song going to be better this time? Mm. We'll see. She's going to miss the prom? No, she's not coming back at all. That's lousy, man. That is brutal. Yeah. Everybody knows that you don't bring the girl with you after high school. Gabriella is already one step ahead. Right now, you got to snap out of it, dude. That's true. She is always one step ahead. Look, I am right there with you. Taylor's heading to Yale. And you and me going to U of A. Except. It's a whole new ball game. Bachelors. Yeah. He's cool with that idea of letting go and moving on until it's him. You're going to go to the prom with us. With all your friends. You're going to have a good time. Well, I don't plan on missing my prom. She tries to start singing and then someone just cuts her off like, hey, it's high school musical, not university musical, right? Yeah. Oh, he drove there? Apparently he did. Figured you'd be the last one out of the building. Oh, okay. I don't believe this. Why not? I took a wrong turn on the way to prom. So did you. Now don't break your ankle jumping out of the tree. Yeah. And what is it with you and trees? That's a good question. I'm glad you pointed that out. Prom is tonight in Albuquerque. It's a thousand miles away. My prom is wherever you are. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's nice. Take my hand and every turn I'm glad that he didn't just drag her back or like change her mind. Yeah, he's just accepting. Yeah, compromise. Don't be afraid. You know I'll catch you. And you can catch a in the Even though this one's a little bit less grounded with the whole production, it's still a bit nicer than some of the earlier ones. Yeah. It makes a bit more sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Hey. Yeah, they're not going over the top with that. And I get that the point of the series is to go over the top. But, yeah, but either there's, do there's, it or don't. Yeah, it's like, it's weird the push and pull. Mm. Can I have this time? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not the only one that changed when you came to East High. We're friends now. And we're supposed to be doing a show together. Problem is, now it's changed again because you left. Damn, Gabrielle just carrying this whole franchise. You might be ready to say goodbye to East High. East High is not ready to say goodbye to you. That's unfortunate. School has to end. Yeah, but not yet. I guess they're kind of saying make the most of the time you have left. Oh, sure, Don't sure. bail on your friends just because it'll be easier that way. Hey, mommy and daddy. Okay, well, the show's starting soon. Oh, and I love the roses. Oh, God. What are you doing, bro? We haven't formally met. I feel like I know you in sort of a vibey level. Yeah, the look on her face says everything. Yeah. I'm Jimmy the Rocket Czar. What are you, some sort of Muppet gangster? The fucking hat. Either call yourself the Rocket or call yourself Jimmy, not mm -hmm. both. Oh, what is that? Is that your cologne or a toxic spill? Both. It's called Babe Magnet. You like it? Oh, of course oh, it is. bro. No, she clearly doesn't. That is so gross. Why would she point it out like that if she wanted a smell? Sex Panther. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Troy Bolton just sent me a text. You want to check it first? Been driving all night. I'll try to make it for the second act. You're going on tonight. Ask Troy. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Get it! 
All right. Uh, oh, left him hanging. Bro. I will take care of Kelsey and the orchestra. Yeah, I think he's having a panic attack. Yeah, yeah. I think he stopped breathing. Give him the Heimlich. And by that, she means slap him in the face. Yeah. Reserved for Juilliard. Oh, uh, yeah. The these two fucks. There. That makes sense. Mm hmm. That checks out. Man, this school must be so loaded to afford these fucking productions. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Evans paid quite handsomely. You know they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's our last chance before we go. <laughs> I love that Ryan is the diva singing on the piano. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> now he just needs like a red dress with the split along the side. <laughs> <laughs> like draped over it. Sure. <laughs> But at least this makes sense because it is an actual stage performance. Mm, oh, sure. You know? no, the fact that it's stage worthy is not mm. the... Stop doing the basketball thing. We yeah. get it. <laughs> Across all the dudes. <laughs> you know what? I actually preferred it when it was ridiculously out of place in the first movie. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. I don't know, the fact that it's an actual stage performance is kind of like making it okay in my head. The performance itself, sure, but the basketball involvement oh, on right. the stage performance, oh, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about. Oh, well, yeah. Good evening, Miss Evans. God damn. So extra. Can you tell Troy to come up here? Mm. I want to rehearse the kissing scene. Hasn't anybody told you that Troy- Oh. oh. See, so you really got to learn to listen to people around you. Yeah. Fucking um, go, Ryan. Holy shit, yes. Wow, see this, this is what you want to see on a stage. This is performance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Appreciate, recognize. Yeah. I do like how it's like all of the songs that they did in the movie leading up to this point are the ones they're doing for the actual musical. Sure. Yeah, gotta love it. What an icon. Mm. We have to save something. And we're not about. We're Troy. Ooh. We're Troy. Dude. Oh, cute pants. You would know where Troy was if you weren't ignoring everybody. I know, right? And this guy's like, I'm not involved. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> you know what? This will be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let it happen. Oh, and she's gonna like get surprised and ruin her performance when this other dude shows up, right? Oh, for sure. I got a lot of things. All these distractions. Our different direct. At least she didn't speed up the song. Focus, Jimmy. Come on, man. Come on, Rocket. You've got this. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey, Rocket. We can't just wait around forever. Got a delay on the blast off. Miles apart. Don't do it again. Twice. I get it. But now everyone's waiting just as much as you are. Wow. Even if we're miles and miles and miles. Dude. <laughs> I think we have a problem. We do. Yup. Please, I swear to God, do not sing it a fourth time. Okay, cool. Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh, wow. What the fuck? I can't blame her. I can. Learn how to be a professional. You have to roll with the performance uh, of what's happening. That is true. I mean, I can't blame her for feeling that way. <laughs> feeling it? Expressing feeling it? it? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a whole other story. No, totally different. <laughs> Yeah, dude, either perform or don't. Yeah. Okay, you you too, buddy. Yeah, for real. <laughs> he is no better. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Go for it. Save the day. Whoopee. <laughs> She's used to it by now. You guys got to see this. You guys are awesome. Rocket, you did great. Now it's time to come off stage. You're done, man. You're done. Yeah. You know what? You did fine. Actually, you know what? Rocket played it off better as a spoof song. Oh, yeah. He made it fun. That's my dress. I had one made just like it. Only better. Oh my god. Is she gonna kill you and replace you now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not a singer. You're a London school girl. <laughs> London Academy of Dramatic Arts. It will be my drama department next year. Holy crap. They god are damn. doing the Kim K vs. Paris thing. They are. You are so loyal. So sweet. Really? That's called acting. You should try it sometime. Oh wow. Fair. I mean, she just got out of a performance where she completely failed. Yeah, pretty much. And let's be real. All of Sharpay's performances are exactly the same. Yeah, that's true. No, she I'm has with like you on that. zero range. <laughs> Yeah. Just fucking up her performance. 
pretty sure Ryan's more impressive. Just saying. He definitely is. But there's four applicants, so. No, there's four potentials for one spot. Oh, is it for one spot? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well then yeah, Ryan, easy. Ryan, easy. Yeah. I just wanna be In fact, if we're looking at overall like performance ability, singing ability, how much they have and haven't done well in these shows through all three movies, it goes Ryan, Kelsey, Gabriella, then Troy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, but like, come on, how many movies do the whole like unremarkable dude is actually really remarkable thing? This is true. Yeah. Like he's a good singer and he's yeah. a good performer. But oh, for sure. Is he better than the others? No. Yeah, no. They always oversell it. <laughs> mm. It's sweet when you think of it as like, this is their send off for her. Yeah. They're all her friends. Oh, it's totally sweet. Mm. She gets one. No, give her the damn bouquet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, and everybody's out there enjoying it except you. As usual. What does that say about how you've handled things? I believe you're in the wrong costume. Yes. True. Oh, are they going to do that thing where, like, they swap out halfway through? Potentially. She's going to come in and just drag her off stage. Oh, yeah. I'm here for that. <laughs> if there's anything I enjoy about watching these movies, it's Sharpay being extra. Agreed. Let's dance. Oh, we know we're going to do it right. You know we're I think not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can try and take my place. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Still have to make it a performance. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ryan's like, fuck both of you. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan's like, okay, I've got this. I've had years of dealing with this bullshit. Mm. Hey, girls, no, you did it. It was fun. Now bail back mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. below stage. Together, together. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, big old callback. Ladies and gentlemen, our seniors! Is this the actual graduation ceremony? <laughs> the Juilliard Scholarship recipient! Oh, fuck yeah. Kelsey got it. <laughs> Okay, I'm really glad that Kelsey got it, but this is weird. Jason Cross, you did it. You graduated. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so this is apparently their graduation ceremony. I guess so. The Juilliard School has made an extraordinary decision. Oh. Another senior had taken two being offered Ryan. a scholarship. Yeah, Ryan. Maybe Ryan. Exactly. Ryan and Kelsey. Mr. Ryan Evans. There you go. Thank you. Cool. Thank okay. you, Jesus. Oof, like for a quarter of a second. <laughs> I was like, no! Just a, a tiny piece yeah, of me was no. like. Sharpay Evans, University of Albuquerque, has agreed to return to East High to assist me in running the drama department. <laughs> oh, God. But don't you want to go to college, though? Oh, she is. Oh. Yeah, she is. Oh, a senior who has a decision to make. Mr. Troy Bolton. Oh, sure, just right in front of everybody. No pressure, right? Yeah. Jesus. It'd be fine if he'd already made the decision and discussed this. Yeah, I know. I've chosen basketball. Uh-huh. Mm. And? I've also chosen theater. Okay. Cool. All right, glad his dad's happy about it. The University of California offers me both. Nice. There you go. Cool, I'm with it. But most of all, I choose the person who inspires my heart. Why I picked a school that's exactly 32 miles from you. Oh, uh, that's good. That's sweet. He actually gets to go to a good school that does cover both the things he wants to do and he can still spend time with her. Yeah. Fucking not bad. Way to cover your bases, bro. Yeah. I mean, shit, it might still not work out, but hey. But hey, at least you're giving it the opportunity exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you can make it work, then mm. you try for sure. Chad Danforth, Albuquerque Basketball Scholarship. He's gone. Oh, where is he? It's a good question. Chad. Where's... Mr. Danforth. Chad? You just got a basketball scholarship, dude. Come on. This is definitely not how it happens, though. Not how people announce their scholarships yeah. for basketball. Victory for the record box. So I guess once they hand us that diplomas, we're actually done here. Uh, what makes you think we're getting diplomas? Yeah, he's bummed. Yeah, of course. And they're not going to the same school. Does Berkeley play? Oh, yeah. We're scheduled to kick some Red Hawk butt next November. Game on, oops. See, the thing I like about this is by the time they get to the next level, they're both going to have to play the exact same position. Yeah. So if they went to the same school, they're going to have some trouble with uh, who's getting the minutes. Stand for it. 
Bolt, get out there and you get on stage. Never thought I'd hear my dad say that. Actually worked out better this way. I think it definitely works out better this way. This way they can compete against each other. Two brothers. Know how to handle business. Yeah, I knew that he was always going to be cool with it. I just felt the way that they portrayed it was a little bit odd, just for me. I know, but it wasn't 100 that way for me. East High is a place where teachers encouraged us to define ourselves as we choose. Wait, hold up. Is Troy the valedictorian? East High is having friends that we'll keep for the rest of our lives. Should he be? Hell no. This is 100% a speech that Taylor should have been making. I was just thinking. <laughs> Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. A Kentucky wildcat. Yeah, Kentucky fried wildcat. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Sharpay's development wasn't capitalized on. Yeah, not nearly enough. Nah. Yeah, and it's interesting that we got so much development from Ryan and so little from Sharpay. Yeah. Maybe he was just a fucking standout favorite from the last one. He sure. wanted more. Yeah. Holy crap. Wow. You, That's coordination. You organized that. Gee, okay. Jesus Christ, guys. That would have taken some time to figure out. Oh, yeah. Looking forward from Santa stage to the future started. Yeah, I mean, like, this one was good, but just, I really feel like they put in too many extra characters. I think it, the extra kind of characters were unnecessary, and they really just went for, like, we have money, we're gonna spend it. I know I've said that, like, four times so yeah. far, but... I just felt like the first and second one had so much more heart. Yeah. And look, I love the production value of this. Oh, yeah. But it's still good. It's yeah. still good. Oh, I'm not saying that this is bad in any way. I just felt like... The second one had so much heart, and this one just kind of had money. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, just they really should have spent less time on the big productions and more time on character development. Yeah. Because even Chad's whole thing of like mm. being heartbroken about his friend not going to the same school as him. Without a script, no one's written it. Yeah. There could have been way more there, you know? And I felt that those little moments of development with some of these characters was still really nice. Yeah. They just didn't do enough of it. No, yeah. Even Sharpay. Oh, absolutely. They did that thing again where it's like, oh, she's a villain. And then all of a sudden at the last minute, actually, she's good. Mm. We're all cool with Sharpay again. Yeah, she kind of had the same character arc in every movie. Yeah, but it was best done in the second one. Yeah, agreed. It's the best Also, doing a song that's called High School Musical. Yeah. That's how you want to finish out this franchise? Yeah. It's weird because this song is actually better integrated into the story than the last song in the second one. Yeah. But you called it High School Musical. Like, come on, man. And again, it just sounds the same. Yeah. A few of the songs stood out a little bit. Yeah. The Boys Are Back and Troy's solo song. Yeah. Those are the standouts for me because they were different. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't I agree. just sound like every other song. Celebrate where we come from. I like that they stayed consistent with the message of you can be more than one thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. I completely agree with that. Like, you know. I mean, life life you, isn't so cut and dry. Bro, you can be a basketball star. You can get into theater. Mm. You can bully this kid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're going full. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. it, it is a musical. Hey, I don't really mind them doing this ending nah, thing this, here. This makes sense. For an ending? Yeah. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Freeze frame on the jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they do the bow. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. This was like both a better and worse ending at the same time. Yeah. I think it was both a better and worse sequel. Yeah. We forgot our pants. How did you forget your pants? I don't know, that's... Yeah, I do get the impression that they all really enjoyed their time acting on this series, that they mm. all had fun together. Yeah. I'm guessing oh, this, yeah, they had like a competition for fans to do their own bit, right? Yeah, good on you, Stan. That's cool. All right, so, yeah. I mean, look, I still had fun with this movie. Mm. I don't know how else to say the second one was better. There were definitely plenty of things that I thought were a bit of a downgrade or were like not mm. done as well. I don't want it to come off as overly negative. No, we didn't hate this. Because it's like all the good stuff from the previous ones, mm. for the most part, were there. Yeah. There's just not really much point reiterating it. But that was great. It was just, yeah, there were just some parts and I was like, oh, huh, you did that better last time. I actually feel like I would enjoy the third movie better on a second watch. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You know, just a little bit more time with some of those details. Mm, you but know? coming right off the second one, yeah. it's like you're focusing on 
all those details that the second one did right so it's more jarring when you realize that they did it wrong yeah you know? and the things they did properly is like the acting was better yeah the actual just production mm. value and quality was better the dances the dances the routines basically all of the performance stuff all of the technique everything that they added into it was better the only thing i didn't really love more was the structure of the movie itself and honestly the structure of the songs too yeah in both the most cases part, the songs were, were pretty weak yeah just Sorry, a little bit guys. too much of a money perspective but the ones that did slap slapped. yeah yeah the Holy good crap. stuff was still good so <laughs> and also i'd say the character development was still solid it mm. just could have been better they could yeah. have just done more of it not necessarily a quality thing yeah. but actually just a quantity thing i just wanted to see more yeah 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 mm. that's the high school musical trilogy for you that's the whole series i All hope right. you guys enjoyed it until next time though you've been with sam steph and weather, weather movie buds, buds.